Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to match all non-numbers. The last challenge showed how to search for digits using the shortcut forward slash D with the lowercase D. You can search non-digits using a similar shortcut that uses an uppercase D instead. The shortcut to look for non-digit characters is forward slash D. Remember how forward slash W, this was to look for all alphanumeric characters and this was to look for all non-alphanumeric characters. The same thing goes with D. So forward slash D, capital D, gets us all, um, all non-digit characters. Um, so I think that that was going to be a space, an A, a space, and an odyssey. All of these, all of these individual characters should be part of the result. So let's console.log the result real quick. Um, okay, so it's just getting one. So what's that problem? Well, let's check to see what that digit is. It's the uh, semicolon here. And so we want that length in there because we want to get that. So what's happening? We're just getting, these are all not being registered as digit characters, right? And so when we get here, we get the first one. Once it matches, it's done. Now, if we want to get the all of them, what we need to do is globally flag it so that the um, regu regular expression runs through the whole string. So if we t put it in a G here, we get 17. Um, and if we remove that, we see that we've get each of these characters, every character in here that is non uh, 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 non numeric. Yeah, um, should use the global flag nine. It gives us a bunch of examples, but I'm pretty sure that this is correct. So we'll put the length back in here, and we'll run the tests, and we see the past result. Oh, I need to add length. Okay, cool. So 17, and so 2001. A space odyssey should have 17 digits. If we were to put 21 jump street in here, the uh, the answer would be 12. And so on and so forth. So our regular expression is doing its job. Anyways, the tests are passing. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.